to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we are going to discuss about Amazon Web Services. That is very introductory session. What exactly is the Amazon Web Service? If you know in detail, then you can skip this session and move ahead for the further session. If you don't know, so I would suggest you just go through this session at least once so you understand basics of Amazon Web Service. So let's start it. Uh, you can download this PDF from the description section of the video. Uh, I will upload the same. Okay. So now uh, in this we will be discussing what is AWS, or EC2 instances, storage, glacier, so many other things. Okay. So let's go to the here the PDF session. What is exactly? It is a platform where you can use or create the following of the services like. First example is the computing resources. What a computing resources? You can create a virtual servers. Okay, let's uh, assume this is your Amazon Web Service Cloud AWS. Okay, so in this uh, cloud, you have your physical hardware installed, and on this hardware, you can create your virtual machines. Like here, I, I have shown three virtual machines. Okay, so EC2 is the name they give actually to their virtual machine that is called Elastic Compute Cloud. So this is a, uh, like it's a virtual image you create on Windows operating system you using the VMware or Oracle uh, uh, machine uh, image kind of thing. So this similarly you create the inst virtual instance in Amazon infrastructure. The infrastructure is owned by the Amazon. You just request to create a one uh, virtual machine for you. So suppose this is you, you from your computer you just connect to the Amazon uh, virtual Amazon infrastructure and create a virtual server on this. So easy to instance. Let, let me go ahead and it will clear more on this. Okay. Now I have created my virtual machine. This virtual machine could be a Linux operating system, Windows operating system, uh, or you can create any operating systems like uh, which is available on Amazon Web Service, and you can use it. And I want to install web server on this. I wanted to install my web uh, websites on this, so you can access it. Let's say assume it HadoopExam.com. I want to install on this virtual machine. So what I'll do? I create a virtual machine like EC2 instance first, and then install a web server on this virtual server you see too so this was web servers could be your tomcat your apache servers or your jboss servers your weblogic servers you can create on this ec2 instance once that instance is created install your website on your web server so just install your www.hadoopexam.com content on this apache server so a users from like USA, India, Singapore can visit your website. Different different locations can people can visit your website. Okay, so this is in the blue. You can assume this is entirely Amazon Cloud infrastructure AWS. You can see. So now once you have installed your website, you just disconnect from here. You don't need to be connected. Correct. This website is installed on the now in Amazon infrastructure. So if you are not connected with this infrastructure, that's fine. Still, the people can access your website. So you you are not worried about like uh, uh, like keeping your machine on so like Amazon will keep your machine on for the entire 24 by 7 365 days so your users can access your websites using this you just you can monitor your website like who is accessing kind of thing so this will de de in detail we'll discuss in the future session okay so this will clarify like what is the computing resources we are creating so this is the first computing resource we are creating the ec2 instance installing the web web server on it uh, on that uh, on that and then creating or uh, installing our website on this server okay so uh, uh, create an SSH connection so you can create the direct SSH connections to the, your ec2 instance to connect to this instance okay now storing this is the one of the cloud computing so you have created one computer you can say a virtual computer on the amazon web service that the uh, one of the computing now second is storing now assume you have 100 terabytes of data and daily new data is keep generated in your organization now you want to store it what you do you are keep buying the new hard drive new hard drive to store your data so but what in amazon store you can just they provide the storage services using the s3 services let's just call st storage services from there so you just create store your data in amazon s3 and you can also do the archival of your data in the glacier that is known as glacier so it is similar to the tab drive in if in your organization you might have heard like 
like an administrator uh, every day are in uh, copying their data from uh, your like servers to the tab drive to for the backup because it requires for the legal purposes or for later on recovery purposes or many other reasons are there to uh, bring back the data whenever is needed so every day you are keep generating 100 terabytes of data or so many data so where to store who will take care of all this so buying hardware and keeping the hardware in your organization for this so why not to use the amazon infrastructure directly store every day your data on amazon infrastructure and then amazon will take care of your data and you can any time in future retrieve it it is there is no lifetime uh, uh, like limit on the how long you want to uh, if your data would be available it's your choice if you want to keep it for one month two months one year or lifetime or whatever so amazon will charge accordingly the time you will choose uh, based on the usage pattern it will charge it so this is the second service provided by in the bigger picture is the storage so you are not worried at all you just pay fee for your storage and you can retrieve it anytime so I have 100 terabyte storage so Amazon will charge for the 100 terabyte to store it. So like it is similar to Google Drive correct if you want to every day you do some work and you want to store it in the Google Drive. Google Drive is free of cost up to the 15 GB. Uh, okay uh, sorry 5 GB and later on they would charge uh, if you want to store it. similarly this kind of storage but this is more uh, controlled more uh, like uh, you can do many more thing with the s3 storage and glacier I'm just giving an example so like Dropbox is again the storage service okay so networking is like you can create your own network with the, your virtual machines how many websites and database like how my database and website is secure so you can create the network who can access it who cannot access it so you are here you have installed your websites on this and your website is using also, also using the rdbms mysql database to store your user information who has for access to the your webs, uh, websites okay so this entire user information their permissions and many other things you have stored in the database now how now people who are genuine are actually accessing your websites correct www.hadoopexam.com they are accessing but there is a one guy who want to try to hack your website or something not only website they want to steal your data and they try to connect your database mysql but data database is a uh, in the private virtual private cloud in the private area at all so there is no access only ec2 instance can access the rdbms instance but external user cannot access this so this kind of firewalls or security rules will learn more on this actually in future session this is conceptually you understand like nobody can directly access the mysql database other than administrator administrator can access this uh, database but uh, um, in general from the pub from public network it is not possible to access the database directly so this kind of configuration you do this so in bigger picture there are three services provided by the amazon web services like you can say computing services resource services storage services and the networking services so using this bigger services there are many underlying services are available we'll uh, see in this okay uh, what are all the other services so let me go to the amazon console you can create your own account okay and uh, once you create the account it's a very simple sign up uh, sign up so i have not shown here the step it's like a, any account creation on the websites you create the similar things you can do this here under the other uh, again it requires the credit card informations like this so they can charge you if you use the paid resources so here you just go to the billing information billing and cost management and you can see how much they have charged for you to uh, charge to you so just get it loaded so here i have not used any services this is brand new account i have created just uh, so i'm not i'm not going to show you the steps how to create the account it's very simple and very easy to uh, create the account so you can see the details of how much charge they have done so these are the all services available so we have discussed in the bigger picture what are the services so you can see the compute services so in the compute services ec2 services ec2 container services elastic bonds beanstalk lambda services these are the compute services and similarly storage services s3 cloudfront elastic file system release here import export snowboard so there are database services networking services is available so these are all services available 
okay so uh, we have discussed only three to uh, give you the uh, understanding what exactly amazon web service can do and uh, how it could help you to do the many things now all the services provided by amazon is controlled by web interface or just using the putty as a session session you can create control it okay so this is the web interface you can see i can control all the services from here like i can just go to ec2 and can create the new instance etc so i can control the services you are you can replace your entire data set as data center on aws and you are free from disaster issues like earthquake happens flooding happens etc like in the mumbai whenever uh, there is was a huge flooding the atm systems was not working of the bank major banks because there was a flooding for three four days so the such kind of issue could can can be avoided if you are using the amazon cloud systems or any cloud system it's not about a, a specific to amazon amazon is pioneer among all but uh, there are various provider who provides this type of services okay a uh, cooling system are not working power is power is outage a uh, power outage is they are having extra space for the data centers in your organization this all things you can avoid using the amazon web services example of services provided we have already seen so this is some of the i've written here so uh, this is the same uh, like in the consoles you can see like various uh, services like so many services amazon amazon is getting bigger day by day day by day they are, they are launching many services for your enterprise applications uh, so um, so that's the reason they are becoming very popular and it's uh, learning is still uh, becoming very uh, exhaustive actually it's very very uh, too many things to learn actually slowly slowly they are doing too many things so amazon has a global infrastructure their data centers are located on various geographic location us europe asia south africa so that's the reason i'm saying like sitting in india i can launch my instance in us for the us customer or i can you launch the instance in south america wherever i am so by using just a web interface you can launch your uh, virtual ec2 instance and your website on any servers in the globally so if you see here like in my console if i go here is the oregon is the uh, region is selected by default so this is the us west region i'm sitting in india and the region is selected us west and so whatever work i do or using this web consoles like you ec2 install so this installs will be created in the us west oregon uh, region Correct. So similarly, all these reasons are available. So I can just selecting the reasons. I can change the uh, like reasons. Now I if I have selected Japan reason, correct here. So my instance would be like I just create new instance and that would be created in the Tokyo now. So you can just imagine like you are where you are creating your instances like just changing one drop down. So this is the beauty of the web services. Or cloud computing. So this is the cloud. This is called cloud computing services. We have discussed are also known as cloud uh, uh, computing. Using IT resources on demand is from the using the web interfaces. Cloud uh, can be uh, known as a cloud computing. So every vendor has a different services. Like uh, my, it's it is not necessary all vendor has the same services. There are various cloud vendors like Microsoft is there for with the their Azure which is also becoming for famous. Now and Google App Engine has their rack space is an open source cloud system. Um, so these are available. So everybody has their own different services. So you need to if you, you need to become an expert one of the cloud platform, you cannot become expert of all the cloud platform in general. But it are many many things like the, I can say 50 per 60 percent things are common for all among the all cloud vendors. But the the way you can use it, how you can configure it, it could be different actually. So various ways to access the AWS services. The one of the example is using the consoles we have discussed like AWS console command line interface is provided by Amazon you can use the command line interface this is the SDK like written in Java Python .NET Android iOS Node.js and temp uh, so then template blueprint is there so these are the various ways you can access the Amazon but the very important thing is all these tools use this API layer so there is an API written in by the Amazon which will be used whenever you use any of the tools so this is always go through API layer and API will call this services 
so so amazon is not worried about like the whatever call comes to the amazon services is always come to the api layer so this would remain a single interface for the all the services but the, for you you can have a multiple interfaces globally so this is the general architecture whenever you want to expose your services you always a uh, given api and uh, the api can be uh, accessed via different uh, technology is possible so similarly but there is one exception like ad, as an administrator you have created ssh connection with the ec2 instance you can if you are an administrator you want to install the uh, many things on the ec2 instances you can directly create a ssh connection with the ec2 instance and you can inst install the services on this so this is a little bit different so there is a little bit deviation on this but other services are used to use uh, always using the api layer so what templates here blueprint means blueprints template means like you want to just create the infrastructure based on the configurations so like just create a template i would say like i need 10 ec2 instance one mysql server and one email server so i just create a template and on each region like i would just submit this uh, uh i would say like in or in this region i would submit my template and create the infrastructure okay so this is the cloud formation uh is the template you can use it to create uh, so create and manage resources using the template so this is the tools which we will you can use it to create the uh instances okay you can create design a template and then do this and the similarly you can just change the your reason and same template can be used to launch the same same instances in different reason so the, uh, that's uh, about the amazon web services what exactly it can do it uh, so uh, this is this uh, uh, session is provided by the hadoopexam.com so you just visit the hadoopexam.com and uh, you can get the detail about this so hadoopexam.com has a uh, various practice questions for the amazon aws certification like amazon aws solution architect aws solution architect professional certification aws developer certification sys of administrator certification so these are all available you can uh, e uh, prepare for the aws certification at the same time this all the uh, uh, training sessions would be uh, like will be loaded on the quicktechie.com so you just go quicktechie.com register here click register and under the uh, like you just create an account here and the, under the free trainings just click on it and you can just go to the aws qt video so all the aws related training modules will be all uh, uploaded here so we have already uploaded four modules and these are the supplementary modules so you can start watching it from here so i would suggest please create the account on i uh, on this quicktechie.com and then start watching the video from here so and if you are watching this video on youtube don't forget to subscribe the channel as well as uh, like this video if you like it uh, but its preferred site is this so all the videos would be uploaded here not all all would be available on youtube so i would suggest you create an account watch from here so thanks thanks for watching and i hope you like this session and please provide your feedback